Well, Annie's asked me to say a few words about uh, this book, uh, Flight Through the Ages, the 50th anniversary tribute to the Guild of Aviation Artists. Um, anything to do with art and aviation, that's my thing. So she made a good choice by asking me to have a look. Now, uh, the Ford is by, by Michael Turner, and this is one of Michael Turner's pictures uh, uh, for, for the 100th anniversary of the Royal Air Force. Um, Michael Turner is one of my favourite artists as well, but uh, what I've done is I've selected a few um, a few pictures which I like. Frank Wooten, it's a small picture, but uh, that's an evocative picture of three Spitfires. Uh, Frank used to be a president of the Guild of Aviation Artists. Uh, for the next uh, selection, uh, the book basically is is by eras and types as well. So early aviation, this is one of my favourites as well. Uh, this is the Schneider Trophy in uh, 1914. So uh, sort of uh, kind of pre Second World War, and and at that time it was seaplanes. Uh, but that's the Italian coast. Don't quite know where that is though. Uh, on the theme of uh, the First World War, uh, we have this picture here of uh, an early morning greet uh, with Sopworth camels from the uh, from a naval air squadron. Um, I love the sunlight in that picture as well. This is really my favourite from the book. This is uh, an Italian seaplane. I love the way the artist has uh, invoked speed by the logos sort of disappearing off the tail of the aircraft. Right, my next favourite, oh well, since we're in London, here we go, um, Cockney Sparrows, Spitfires Over the Tower of London by John Young. And it's obviously very interesting to compare London then and London now. Uh, going on to sort of uh, more Cold War aspects, uh, this in particular, uh, students end of term. So it's a vampire jet provost over Cranwell. I, I used to fly out of Cranwell, so that I can spot all the places where I used to go and used to be, and I'm used to seeing that sight from the air as well. And into more modern times, this is Kandahar in Afghanistan. So. What's great about this picture is, although it shows the Harrier, it shows all the other aircraft that were involved in the, the uh, conflict in Afghanistan, the Hercules and the uh, Chinook in particular. But it's not just uh, aeroplanes as well. What a beautiful picture of these balloons. I love the colour. And... Um, yeah, it just makes you want to go out and watch some balloons and go flying in a balloon. And who could resist a picture of Concorde? This is uh, Concorde over Filson uh, near Bristol. I think it's um, on its final flight before this is the Concorde which uh, is at Bristol Filton Airport when you can go visit in a very good museum. Now search and rescue for helicopters are something that uh, I'm very familiar with. My, my uh, father used to work on uh, search and rescue helicopters, the, pre, uh, the predecessor to this one. And this is the Sea King that uh, famously uh, Prince William flew and is not in service anymore, but shows the cooperation between uh, the Sea King and the RNLI and their lifeboats and shows the power of the sea. But finally, what, uh, how the book really finishes is um, after looking at all these amazing pictures, there's a, a section on producing an aviation painting and uh, it's all about a commission that uh, Chris French uh, had and how he produced it. So uh, basically somebody who's flying uh, this uh, Meteor Night Fighter wanted a picture of the Night Fighter with uh, two others over the Suez Canal. And it shows the process he went through uh, from using composite images to sketching out an amazing pencil sketch, I think. And 
and he talks about how he uses all the tones and brings in reflection as well and uh, the detailing of the ship and the shore and showing how the picture goes through a lot of phases before finally the end product which I, I, I would say is very very good so here we go this is uh, Flight Through the Ages I'll be getting my copy anyway I <laughs> uh, hope you enjoy Thank you.